The Ginger Cat Films, Toys with Feelings. First of all, apologies for not filming. I had gotten seriously grounded, and I could not even look at my iPad. Like, it was literally taken away. <coughs> so, yeah. But anyways, today's video is going to be on what bullies like to do and how exactly to deal with them. Because I have been a verbal bully target since kindergarten. And trust me, I know exactly how to take it. And what to do when you witness bullying. And how to stop yourself from either crying out of complete utter fear or just punching the dude. Because <laughs> trust me, I wanted to do both at the same time. Um, so, first of all... Let's, um, rehearse what bullies like to do. First of all, before you learn to deal with physical bullying, you have to learn to deal with verbal bullying or the gossip type where people just talk about you behind your back. Now, obviously, you can probably predict that I get talked about behind my back every single day of my life. I mean, I play with these tiny little plastic LPS all day. Do you really think I'm going to be a popular kid at school? No, but this is what I'm good at, so why not stick to it, am I right? <clears throat> Plus, I have wonderful subscribers, and I would never want to let you guys down by stopping this just for my own selfish need and want to be popular. But, um, anyways. Ooh. Alright, so. Verbal. The first time you deal with verbal bullying, or any type of bullying, it can sometimes feel like this. But that's okay. <coughs> See, I know what bullying feels like. And when people talk about you behind your back, the best thing to do is avoid the people who do so. Because, more than likely, the people who talk about you behind your back don't want to say any anything bad to your face. Why? I don't know, but that's just that type of bullying style. So, yeah, that's just the flow of that. That's just the flow of things, I guess. But anyways, when that happens, you gotta know what to do. And I say just avoid those people. And you know what? Down the road, you could just become friends with them, because it's happened to me before. Not a lot, but it has. Um, but anyways, so, dealing with the people who talk about you behind your back is super easy. I know you may be mad, and I know you may just want to walk up to them or punch them or go cry in a pillow. But, either A, those people are jealous, or B, they just hate you, and that's fine. Everybody's hated by somebody. I hate a lot of people who I'm actually friendly to. That's because I know what it feels like to be hated. So I don't like to tell the people I'm friendly to that I hate them. Because that just, it's not right in my book. Because I know how it feels to be told to your face you're hated or to be told behind your back that you're hated. So, yeah. So long story short, or in a nutshell, just ignore those people. Now, the people who talk to you badly right in front of you, whether this be the top school bully or just somebody who likes to pick on people, the easiest thing to do is just walk away. Now, they may reply with, what, you're scared or baby, sissy, whatever. Don't turn back, run up, and kick them or something. Don't try to be Superman. Just walk away. Just keep walking. And if you really have to, Turn back and say, you must be a baby because all you like to do is pick on people for your reputation. I try to actually earn it. And just keep walking away. Just keep walking. Don't deal with them. If you really like verbal fights, or if you have a mom who says, if somebody says something to you first, you're allowed to say whatever you want back, which would be me, <laughs> then go ahead and sp sp start a tiny verbal fight but you gotta know what to say like you gotta know how to burn somebody if you know what I mean I mean here's what I like to reply with somebody comes up to me and they say hey you film these tiny little plastic toys you dork I just like to reply with 
So what? Build a bridge and get over it. And I just walk away. And they don't even know what to say back. Well, except this one kid, but he always has a comeback because he's like the like professional bully who knows like all the tips and tricks. But anyways, oh well. And I'll tell you how to deal with the ultra bully later. So anyways, that's how you deal with verbal bullying. Sometimes it can be a little bit more emotionally punishing, but that's alright. I mean, personally, I like to be told that I'm hated to my face. I hate it when people talk about me behind my back. I'd rather that person come up to me and say, I hate you, and walk away. Because I feel better knowing who my enemies are. I don't like to put my trust in somebody I know I can't trust, or they think I don't know I can't trust them. Because that's just like, come on, really? 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 So, yeah. So, that's like how I like to deal with verbal bullies. I either start a tiny verbal fight, or if you're somebody who's scared to death of getting in trouble, you know, just walk away, maybe tell them build a bridge and get over it, or whatever, and just, you know, just go. Now... Strong verbal bullying, as in cussing words. Like, you're a whatever, and I'm going to beat your whatever, and you're a whatever. You know what I mean? Now, that's never happened to me, but I, I'm i pretty experienced with normal verbal bullying that I can probably give you a few tips and tricks on that one. First of all... Go ahead and tattle your tail off. Because it's not tattling, it's actually telling. It's wrong when somebody uses a word like that. Especially to describe someone else. It's just rude. It's not, it's not right. It's just not. If that thing, if they think that makes them cool, it really doesn't. It just makes them a big potty mouth. That's all it does. Okay, it does not make them any better than you are, and remember that. Okay? So no matter what reason you're being picked on, if it's strong language type bullying, go tell a teacher, because that is bad. I mean, normal verbal bullying or talk behind your back bullying, don't tell, because that'll just count as tattling. But if strong language is used, that would count as actually reporting something that's inappropriate and actually is wrong okay and a lot of people are like I don't like to be the one who tells well sometimes it feels really satisfying to get the bully in trouble even if the bully isn't even bullying you it feels satisfying to think wow I'm the person who got this dude in trouble yay you know what I mean it just it feels better So, yeah, strong language bullying, yeah. And whatever you do, do not cuss back at them. That will get you in serious school trouble, probably even ISS, sometimes. Definitely, if you use clip, if you use the clip system, you're definitely going to red. If you use the checkmark system, you're definitely getting three strikes and you're out. So, yeah. Don't, don't cuss back. That's, just don't. Or maybe you'll get detention if you're a high school person. But anyways, just remember, don't, don't cuss back at them. That's the one thing that's just a big no-no. I mean, my parents tell me, as long as the bully says something first, I can reply however my little heart desires. But still, it's just... In the end, you're probably going to regret what you said by a lot, especially if you're a person who does not get in trouble that often and actually does not welcome getting in trouble. So, yeah. Now, let's go to small physical bullying. Like, a small punch on the shoulder, a little kick. Not not some swirly or getting beat up, just... Something simple that isn't even painful, really. Just like a tiny little boop, almost. (laughs) Um, honestly, I wouldn't tattle on that. That could, 
that would count as telling in a teacher's book. But in society's book, that would probably just be tattling. That's just, no, nah. So some people are probably wondering, okay, well, how do I deal with that then? Just let it fester into something greater. And then when that bully really decides, let's strike this person hard, then you can tell and they'll get their butts in huge trouble. If you really must do something, then just get in a verbal fight with them. Try and turn the physical fight into a verbal type fight. Because that's how I deal with bullies, and that's probably the best way. And this camera needs to focus. <laughs> okay, but anyways, that's how I deal with bullies. With verbal. Because verbal is much better than physical. Because you don't know how strong that bully is. You really don't know. This dude could be the top alpha bully. You may not even know it. This dude could beat you to a pulp. You don't know. So sometimes, instead of pulling a wild card, just go with the flow. Okay? I mean, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, no, I need to do something about this. This is bad. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to go cry. And that has been me at one point. But I'm telling you now, from my own experiences, it's just better to let it be. Okay? It's better to let it be. Verbal and physical bullying stinks, but just let it be if it's just a small tap or something. Now, let's get in the next stage. Aggressive physical bullying, such as punches, kicks, really hard, maybe even getting beat up. What the heck do you do about this? My parents, my mom and my dad always told me you would get in trouble at school, but as long as the bully punched or kicked you first, you could beat him to a pulp if you wanted to. Honestly, this is the point where I give you my own A-OK. -okay. Go for it. If they punch you hard, if they kick you hard, you start a huge fight with them. You beat that bully to a pulp. Now, if you're a little stick who's all... Oh my gosh, no, I'm not strong. I don't know what to do. Mommy! Then maybe just scream help. Honestly, I know that sounds like total forfeit. <laughs> but trust me, if the teacher sees somebody beating you up, this dude's like... Fried. Like, absolutely fried. Um, so yeah. Um... Yeah, this dude is- this dude's fried, and I would not worry about it. <laughs> but if you're somebody like me who's like, uh-uh, I can take all that other crap, but ain't nobody punching me, then this is the point where I say, okay, if it gets that physical, go for it. Blow them to smithereens. Give them a black eye if you have to. Okay, this is the point where I say, fight back hard. Okay? This is the point where I really do say, it's time you fight back. You're going to get in trouble too, obviously, but that bully is probably not going to mess with you very much anymore. And you're probably going to get a lot of gratitude from your classmates, like, oh my gosh, you just, like, you totally screwed the bully and whatever. So, you're probably going to get some positive feedbacks from your peers who know what the bully's like. So, yeah. If it gets that physical, I say, do something and do it quick. So, yeah. Um, so that's about it. So, yeah, and it's getting to the 15-minute mark, so I guess I'll go. So subscribe for the kitties. And I update somewhat often, and even, if, and even the times when I don't, just check my channel, okay? Love you all. Bye.